welcome to a more ASMR style video. Um, uh, I wanted to make this type of calm video because sometimes I'm up really late at night and I want to make a video that I can do while everyone else is asleep <laughs> and while I'm awake. So, oopsies, I forgot to put that there. There we go. So, I hope you like this more ASMR style video. I have the microphone a little bit closer to me and I'm filming in a new location. This is actually my bed. <laughs> so, um, I am cozy and I hope that you all are going to get cozy. Um, I hope my voice is alright like this. Usually my voice can get a little uneven and gravelly when I, you know, whisper talk like this. But, um, I am going to try and make it smoother for you guys this time. So, getting right into it, we are going to be making a video that is all about just um, general, what do you need to know, what uh, messages are going to come through for you guys, just a general reading. Let's just chill, let's just chat vibe a little bit and see what we get. Um, if you hear something loud, <laughs> that's my air conditioning, but um, I hope this comes through even though that it's on right now. Um, so, uh, without further ado, pile one is this pretty necklace. It's a druzy agate necklace with a silver chain, and it has a little design on the back. And the deck that I will be using for your tarot is the Technibrae Tarot. Pile number two, group number two, is this pretty purple dragon necklace. It used to be my mother's, but she gifted it to me because she didn't want to wear it anymore. So thank you, mom. <laughs> and for group two, I will be using the wild unknown tarot. And last but not least, Group three gets this pretty key necklace, a key within a key. It has these little pearls inside and they move around. It has a bronze chain. And I will be reading the Golden Threads Tarot for you. So, with all that being said, go ahead, choose a pile, whichever you like. Let me just fix that for you guys. <laughs> uh, pile one, pile two, pile three tickles your fancy, whether it's the tarot cards, whether it's the necklace, uh, choose whatever calls to you, and I will see you in your respective piles. See you there. Hello, group one. If you picked the Druzy Quartz necklace, then this is your pile. Keep that up there. So the Technobray Tarot is my most recent tarot deck. I got it with a little bit of Christmas money. <laughs> and uh, I am very excited to use it for you guys. It's very steampunky. It's very, not steampunky, I'm sorry. It's more cyberpunk, this one is. It's all black and white, black and silver. Those might be some interesting colors for you guys. Black, white, silver, lucky colors, anybody? 
Okay, so there's the cards. Allow me to shuffle them for you guys. So what have you guys been doing? How have you been feeling? What are you up to? Oh, tell me all about it. Okay. Make sure that's in frame for you guys. Hmm. Oh, interesting. Okay. Yeah, you guys are kind of feeling a little drained, huh? Just want one more. Oh, I got two more. I'll take them. We got two of swords. Oh, wow. Lots of swords, you guys. Okay. for now. Get you all in frame. Okay. So, let's see. Oh, okay. So you have Queen of Wands in reverse. You have Ten of Swords. You have the sun in reverse. You have the two of swords. And you have the three of swords in reverse. All right, wow. Pile one. It seems that something is draining your optimism lately. It seems that it might be a person, it might be just a thing, but I have my suspicions that it's a person that has been giving you a lot of negative energy. Just kind of, yeah, draining all of your energy, maybe even just not treating you very well. Yeah, you're kind of over it. Um, let's see. Yeah, you, you don't really feel like yourself at the moment. You've been a little bit negative. Your energy is kind of being, you know, hmm messed with, toyed with. Hmm. But uh, there is something good coming. I feel like, you know, whatever this is might be over. So it might be a heartbreak. You might be feeling you may have just gone through a breakup. Or thinking about breaking up with somebody. You kind of lost the light out of your life right now. But there's definitely hope at the, there's light at the end of the tunnel. If this is not exactly new to you, I'm seeing some light at the end of the tunnel. Um, some advice that I could give you is perhaps just if it's a person that's making you feel this way, cut them out or as much as you possibly can. Yeah, it's almost like a blockage of sorts. But, hmm, not quite. You may just be going through it, pile one. Just a little bit. If not a lot of bit. <laughs> I'm gonna pull some more cards for you. I got my tea leaf cards right here for me. Okay, I'm gonna grab just a random section from the middle. You have wedge. Someone is trying to come between you and a friend 
or something you want. Ah, I see, I see. Yeah, and it's really messing with you. It's really getting to your, getting to your head. Hmm. Wow. Pile one, that's awful. I want another one of these, so I'm gonna grab a different pile. Pile one. Oh, oh, I'm just gonna take that one. <laughs> I don't want too, too many of these. Okay. Compliments from an admirer. Hmm. Maybe that's the friend that this person is trying to get in between. Someone's, it's very clear that someone's on your side and someone is not on your side. It's like you have, you, you definitely have the required components, I suppose, socially to solve this problem and in the end I feel like this person isn't going to get what they want it's you who's going to keep your friend or get what you want in the end with this three of swords in reverse yeah whoever is doing this is not a very good friend you deserve better, Pile One. You deserve better in general. For sure. You may, this may be your current uh, partner that's being awful to you, but there might be, you know, someone else interested, you know, someone that can turn your broken heart upside down, you know? I feel like this is this is far from solutionless, pile one. Far from solutionless. Very, very cool. I got more for you, of course, of course. I have a little bit of ice cream oracle for you guys, just to see, give you a couple keywords. A couple keywords for this time in your life. What type of vibe should Pile One know about? What's going on for Pile One? Sorry, it's out of frame. I'm in a little bit of a difficult spot here. <laughs> oh, 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 oh. What do we have? Mango. Mango. Ooh. Attraction, intrigue, sensuality. Yeah, maybe, maybe pile one for some of you. This could be you found someone that really, really checks all the right boxes for you, but maybe a parent or someone ain't so keen on it. Um, and to that, of course, I say phooey. <laughs> I'm going to scoop this up some for you guys so you can see it a little better. And don't worry about me. I can see it just fine. There you go. Yeah, so attraction, intrigue, sensuality. Yeah, I feel like no matter what's been causing this slump, you guys, there's, there's going to be some, there's going to be some pick-me-ups for you, you know? There's going to be someone there, even if it's not necessarily romance. Someone is in your corner. I, I 100% understand that. Someone is in your corner. And I'm being told to remind you of that, you know, Pile One? You have people cheering you on, whether you know it or not. Even if that only someone is me, pile one, <laughs> then, you know. Wow. All right, I got one more deck here. 
good old animal spirits. What's the vibes for pile one? What are we, what are we looking for here? What is surrounding pile one at this time? What is surrounding pile one at this time? Hyena. All right, all right. You have the hyena. Now, I'm going to read this intuitively, but I do have the book here. Hyena, yeah. A sense of viciousness, cruelness, a sense of, you know, mockery even. Or just plain old not understanding. I do get the idea of duality though, when to be serious about something and when to when to take something seriously or when to laugh at it that's an interesting message i just got hmm. yeah it gives me a little bit of like seven of swords energy which is so interesting because of all the swords hmm. yeah there's a time and a place for some reason. That's the message I'm getting from that card. Let's put that there for you guys. Let me pull out the book and see what the book says. Here it is. Hyena, humor, wit, sarcasm. The hyena personality is a jokester and crowd pleaser, but below the surface there are unfulfilled dreams to be realized. When the hyena card appears, it's time to reflect on your reliance on sarcasm and humor to express your truth. Are you using jokes to hide old resentments and relationships? Or to mask things that you feel uncomfortable discussing? What would happen if you took your goals seriously? Interesting. Very, very interesting. When in balance, charming, witty, fun to be around. When out of balance, scrappy, petty, suspicious. To bring into balance, sobriety. Okay. Yeah, you might have been doing a little bit of hiding of your discomfort. Okay. It's time to, time to get serious, Pile One, I think, you know, about the things that are bothering you. It could be that whoever is trying to put this wedge between you and a friend or something you want isn't necessarily even trying to on purpose, but it's making you uncomfortable. I see. And yet you're letting it get to your head so badly. It's really gotten you down. Yeah. Wow. I think I want a little bit of clarity here. Some clarifiers. Tell me more about Pile One's situation. Tell me more. Oh, here's one. Okay. Interesting. Okay. We have the Three of Pentacles in reverse and the Empress. Yeah, maybe something just didn't work out. Maybe you were a trio and there's a falling out. But the Empress is a fantastic sign, guys. You can absolutely overcome this, you know? You are strong. And I have a feeling that even if it wasn't necessarily hard to do, you are still feeling very sad very sad but 
Yeah, I have a feeling that something went sour. Whether it was in a relationship, a friendship, something went sour. Maybe you've been hiding all of this under this laughing hyena mask. Hmm. But I want you, you guys, to really, really, you know, take your feelings seriously. Okay? You deserve to have your feelings listened to. And you deserve to, yeah, be heard out at the least. Maybe you're afraid that you're going to cause a rift. Maybe you're afraid that the whole thing will fall apart. If you say something, and you know, hey, that may be pile one, but I'd say what's more important is the truth and having yourself heard. And, you know, in the end, there's still going to be plenty of love for you. It's it's here, it's, you know, a, amongst all this dismal energy, this popped out. <laughs> and so it's like, you may be feeling down, but someone is ready to offer their love to you. Yeah, so there is that pile one. Incredible. Absolutely incredible. There we go. Put all that in there. Pile one, now is the time to really speak what's on your mind, to do what's necessary, and uh, to, to start to move forward toward bigger and brighter things. No more hiding, no more worrying, no more being scared. Things will turn out all right for you, Pile One. I promise. If you're feeling down or depressed for any reason, there's definitely someone out there who's ready to help you out of that funk, for sure. Definitely light at the end of the tunnel. Lots of just things about love and sensuality and femininity. A lot of that. A lot of that, pile one. So hang in there, pile one. Things are looking up for sure from now on. You know, I'm seeing a definite lift in mood. I'm seeing some color coming back into your world. So, yeah, pile one. Oh my goodness. Best wishes to you all. I hope that this was relaxing and calming to watch. Um, and thank you for being here with me. Um, if you liked this, please leave a comment, a like. If you want more, subscribe. I'll be putting out videos as often as I can. So... Take care of yourselves, Pile One, and I'll see you next time. Bye! Hello, Pile Two. If you picked the pretty purple dragonfly, this is your pile. Hello, everybody. How are you? Thank you for being here with me. I cannot wait to dive in. We're starting with the Wild Unknown Tarot for you guys. Alright, so how have you all been? Let me know in the comments how have you all been doing. It's been about a month, yeah, over a month since I've talked to you last. You know? So let me know how you're doing. I hope you're all doing well. Let's get into it. Pile 2. What do they need to know? What do they need to hear? What are they? Ooh. Okay. 
So you have the Fool here, you have the Queen of Swords in reverse, and the Knight of Pentacles in reverse, and, ooh, and the Emperor in reverse, okay, wow, make sure that's all in frame for you guys. Just a moment. To, I have a feeling that something recently has almost made you aware of how, how do I put this? You need more play, less work. <laughs> how about that? We'll put it that way. You need more play and less work overall. And I think you've noticed that and I think that you're kind of turning over a new leaf as it were, except instead of like a new leaf physically, it's more like a new leaf mentally. I think that maybe you have just come over a blockage yeah maybe there has been a period recently where you weren't very kind to yourself it could be for a myriad of reasons but you know maybe you were being harsh on yourself or you were cracking down on studying or you were just really not giving yourself the time. You were being very disciplined with yourself, but I feel like now is the time to cut loose a little bit. Pile two. And cutting loose is good. Heck yes. Maybe vacations for some of you are just, you know, you're giving yourself more time to do what you want. Just don't be too, <laughs> don't be too careless because, you know, with the fool, isn't this card adorable, by the way, with the fool, I think that it can be easy to get too caught up in your, your frolicking, <laughs> your, um, your break and stuff like that. I think, you know, now is, you might lose track of time. You might lose, you know, one of those things where it's like, you're so busy having fun and you're so busy, like, you know, do playing a game and then you blink and all of a sudden it's four in the morning <laughs> and you're like oh god i have work tomorrow <laughs> you know something like that try you know save yourself the headache because i have a feeling you know it won't harm anyone but you really um so try not to get too careless but now is definitely the time to just kind of let a couple things go don't be so hard on yourself. That 
kind of deal. You're, you're chilling out. You want to chill out. You have the opportunity to chill out. And you are taking it. <laughs> Absolutely taking it. I got some more cards for you guys. I have some tea leaf cards. So I'm just going to grab a random, a random group of them here. Since I only want one or two. Ooh, that's way too many. <laughs> Pile two. General vibes. Pile two. Oh, perfect. What do we got? We have grapes. Time to go out and have fun. What did I just say? Absolutely. I feel like now is the time that you have really, you worked real hard and now you're ready to chill. You're so ready to chill, pile two. And then you have ant, work, achievement, success. Yeah, pile two, I feel like, you know, you put in the work, you put in the discipline, and now it's time to, it's time to relax, pile two. Absolutely. Even if you still think you can't afford to, now is the time, pile two. Now is the time. For certain. We got a bit of ice cream oracle for you as well. Just some keywords for this time. Pile two, general vibes. Oh, 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 okay. <laughs> We're gonna take those two that flipped. What do we have here? A bubble gum. Memories, nostalgia, childhood. Yeah, a little bit of inner child, you know, you kind of had to shove them to the side for a bit, you know, to get some adulting done, you know? It's like, well, now that the adulting's all done, it's time to get wild. It's time to eat ice cream flavors that only kids can stomach, <laughs> you know? Yeah, do some things that really bring back some childhood memories for you, Pile 2. That, that might really help you heal a bit from all this hard work you've been going through. And then we have Chocolate Vanilla Swirl. Complementary opposites, fairness, and equality. Yeah, I could, I could see maybe the fairness and equality maybe at your job or whatever was really stressing you out you know it wasn't the greatest i can see that maybe you know this job might kind of suck a little bit <laughs> you know maybe it's possible it might suck a bit um but i think that you know, or it could be referring to, you know, work and play. Work can be the vanilla and play can be the chocolate, you know? A balance, complementary opposites. I mean, what's that one saying? It's like, um, if you, something along the lines of, you know, food never tastes as good as when you, you're hungry, like you've worked for it, you worked all day. You know, and then you get to eat dinner and it really hits different, you know, something like that. Maybe, you know, I feel like after this particular bout of work, the play, you know, the, the rest, relaxation, the, the having the fun that you have, it really will hit different and really, really refresh you. That's another thing I'm getting with the fool. I feel like, you know, once this is over, and you have to go back to work or, you know, back to studying or whatever, you're going to be ready for it because you're going to be very refreshed. You know what I'm saying? Something here will make you feel good, you know? Yeah, absolutely. And then we have some Wild Unknown Animal Spirits. So it'll match this deck for you guys. Pile 2, general vibes. What is going on for Pile 2? 
yeah, you guys, man, I am already so excited for you guys. A hundred percent. I'm like, oh, this is gonna, this is gonna be one for the books, you know? <gasps> Golden egg. Oh, pile two. Wow. Now that is a rare card to pull, pile two. That's a rare card to pull. Just as, you know, the golden egg might suffice. I'm gonna try and read this intuitively, but I do have the little guidebook here. Golden egg, wow. You know, I feel like this could mean a couple of different things depending on the individual. You know, I feel like maybe you found you found that good balance of work and play or, you know, work and rest. Maybe you got lucky and you, you really found that niche where you like, it's, it's real good. You, you're, you're settled, you know? You found your place. And I think, you know, if you haven't realized it already, now's a good time to realize it, you know? You're making good money, or at least enough money to be comfortable. Maybe you're, you know, you like your job, even if it doesn't pay you money and they have good hours, you know, something like that, where you're just content. Things get stressful sometimes, but I feel overall, you know, you're kind of more on the content side. And that is so awesome. Let me find the golden egg. Here we go. <laughs> All right. Hopefully that'll... There we go. Message at the center of the heart, the unstruck sound. Within the golden egg lives a precious sound. Deep within that sound resides a message. The sound cannot be heard nor the message discerned until we retreat from the noise of modern day life. The magical essence of the golden egg means warmth, quiet, and time to unfold. Yeah, I was getting that. It's like, you're ready to just relax and have fun. You know what I'm saying? Let's see. No rushing, pushing, or grasping. Find a place of deep and restful ease. Perhaps through yoga nidra or meditation, if you do not yet have a meditation practice, take some time for introspection or contemplation. When the mind begins to settle and the breath is calm, ask the question that weighs heaviest on your heart, staying open to any response you hear. Engaging with the energy of the golden egg is an advanced practice. It requires becoming intimate with our fairy essence and comfortable with vulnerability. When a feeling of tenderness or gratitude arises from deep within you, know that you are well on your way. Okay. Your chest may swell like you're seeing an old friend that's been away for a long, long time. Listen to the message they've been waiting to tell you. Well, isn't that sweet? Oh, that's so sweet, Pile 2. Wow. Yeah, Pile 2, you know? I feel like, again, I feel like what I said definitely still stands with the added message of if something does end up troubling you, if something, you know, starts to throw off this balance that you have, you know, meditate on it a little bit, you know? find you can you you can find the answers to what you're seeking you know i feel like this is a very intuitive card maybe your your inner intuition is at its peak at the moment pile 2 you're very connected in in talks with yourself and your inner child as well i'm definitely getting inner child vibes from this Yeah. Pile two, it's time to have fun. It's time to rest, relax, 
maybe a bit of contemplation, you know, on the side. But um, I feel like overall, Pile 2, it's going to be a very, you know, relaxing and, you know, at the very least, enjoyable time for you. Stressors will be at a minimum, and you will have the ability to just do what it is that satisfies at the moment. You know? Pile 2, this is beautiful, and wow, am I so proud of you. This is a wonderful, wonderful vibe that I'm picking up. You're strong, Pile 2. You can handle life stressors. Absolutely. Because, you know, no one is without stressors in their lives. But I feel like this time of fun and joy will give you a big, you know, the nice big rejuvenation that you need, you know? If you ever have problems, if you feel like you don't know what to do, if you feel like, you know, you may need a change or that things aren't going your way, look inward, Pile 2, look inward. Because you'll be able to find it. You're very in tune with that part of yourself. You're not someone, at least not from my intuition, you're, the majority of you are not people that like to lie to yourselves. You are very truthful with yourself. And I think that's why the golden egg here is here because they notice this about you. You're sitting on a nest egg. That's also another thing that um, I think of too, is that maybe you have a really good idea. This is reading it intuitively again. You know, a golden egg, I think of, you know, the golden, the goose that laid the golden egg, you know? You're, you might be sitting on some sort of goose egg or waiting, you know, for a time to make your own moves. So this could also be a sign that that time is near, near. I wouldn't say right away, but it's like coming. It's, you know, recognizing and acknowledging that the time may be soon where you have to go inward and ask yourself some very important questions. But, um, I still think for now you feel very relatively, or you will feel relatively content, Pile 2, and I couldn't be happier for you guys. Thank you so much for joining me for this reading. I hope that, you know, this was enjoyable for you. Um, if you guys liked it, leave a like. Tell me all about how it resonated in the comments, because I absolutely love that. And uh, if you want more, subscribe. Subscribe. There will be a good mix of more ASMR style videos versus, you know, my regular ones where I talk aloud. Um, yeah, guys, thank you so much for spending some time with me. I really appreciate it, and I really hope you have fun and uh, that you have a really good you have a really good one, guys. I will see you next time with another reading. Bye! Hello, Pile 3. If you chose the pretty pearly key, then this is your pile. Alright, so we'll be using the Golden Threads Tarot for your reading. How are you guys? I hope you're doing well. I hope that you are all feeling good, staying healthy, you know, because we're in that middle, you know, spring is on its way, but not quite here yet for most. So, you know, let me know. Hope you're staying warm and healthy.
things that they need to hear or know. Oh, okay, two came out. King of Wands. Oh, I love the King of Wands. This is probably my favorite court card. And the Five of Swords. Interesting. No matter the competition, you're staying strong, Pile 3. It's like maybe, you know, there might be some conflict going on around you, but keeping it cool, which is funny considering that it's King of Wands, <laughs> fire and stuff like that, but no, you're, you're, you're keeping your head forward while maybe some people you're working with haven't. Yeah, three of pentacles in there. <laughs> yeah. Hmm. And the five of pentacles, oh yeah. You definitely missed the help, though, I'll tell you that much. Let's see. Page of Swords in Reverse. Interesting. Hmm. Yeah. You're kind of getting... It's giving me that vibe of, you know... You're the only one in your group keeping a level head about something. And you're you're kind of lost though. You don't <laughs> you don't really know what to do. I think you're, you know, you're level headed, but you're still a little confused. Maybe there's a fight in your friend group or in your workspace. And you're just, you're feeling a little <laughs> desperate, even though you're, you're, you're keeping it cool on the outside and you're really making things work, you know, pile three. You don't need to worry about that, but, you know, and I also get this sense of like, yeah, you're, you're pissed off, pile three, you know, it's like, you're the only one not letting this get to your head. You're the only one that hasn't joined in on all the, you know, crazy weird hubbub going on. You're like, yeah. You don't know what to say. <laughs> you don't know what to say. All you know is that you need a little bit of help moving forward. You're a little confused and desperate and just like, ugh, what do I do now? <laughs> you know? So um, maybe I can give you a little bit of help with that. Some advice going forward with this situation. Maybe that's what the cards are wanting, you know? Good on you for taking the high road, by the way. Pile, pile three, you are not allowing yourself to be a part of this conflict that's going around. You don't want any part of it. And good on you. You know, maybe you've been tempted in the past or something, but man. All right, let me, let's get you a couple tea leaf cards, pile two. Pile two, um, just vibes advice, info, whatever you want to give. Pile, oh, okay, oh, okay, okay, we got two. Okay, this one popped out. Rat, someone working against you behind your back. Oh boy, that's probably what this is about. Something, someone is just kind of, this can be a little exaggerated, like, you know, it doesn't necessarily have to be someone working against you behind your back necessarily. 
in such a literal term, but there's a rat. There's a rat in your friend group. Someone who's just kind of nasty. Someone who's just kind of like awful to everyone, causes problems, you know, gets their grubby little paws and things that they shouldn't, you know? Kind of a butthole, pile three. What's going on? That's odd. And then we have out. Good advice from a wise person. Okay, so I was about to say, I, you're confused. You don't know what to say or do. So someone is going to give you advice. Someone's coming in. Maybe the king of wands? I don't know. To me, the king of wands symbolizes you, pile three. But it could be this owl. If you don't, you know, if you're a little bit more on the timid side, then maybe the owl is the king of wands. King of wands is someone who gets things done. Gets what they want, gets things done. Really doesn't let anything stop them. But I do have a feeling that you are the person who isn't letting anyone stop them. So, hmm. let's see. We have some keywords for you guys. So, let's see. Pile three, advice. Um, just, oh, okay. There we go. <laughs> that was quick. Banana walnut. Cracking codes, learning, observing. Yeah, I, I was about to say, honestly, Pile 3, the fact that you're an outsider, right? You're kind of outside of this fight or this weird situation going on in your group. This really will teach you a lot about people, you know? watching them as they do things, especially in such a high tension situation. That'll definitely teach you about how a person takes. It might give you more of a perspective on who to trust, who's, you know, the one that'll be good to stick around and the people who are not so good to stick around, you know, or even Maybe not even people. Maybe it's just straight up a job or something else. It very much could be. Very, very much could be. You know, I want another one. I want another one of these. Pile three. Any more? Oops. I got two. I guess we can keep both of them. All right. We got charcoal licorice. Innovation, invention, revolution. Interesting. Yeah, I mean, the thing is, pile three is that this is eventually going to get, come to a head. All conflicts come to a head, you know? And I feel like, you know, there may be some sort of schism, <laughs> you know? But, uh, maybe you can lead some sort of revolution, even just for yourself, you know? Even just for yourself. You can start a new group with the people that you care about and, you know, start moving away from the bad, <laughs> you know? Um, get to a place that's a little bit less violent. <laughs> And then we have green tea, work ethic, diligence, and meticulousness. Very interesting. I was about to say, I'm like, I have a heavy feeling that for most of you, this has to do with a job. Um, and I think, I think I'm right on that. Diligence, meticulousness. Yeah, just honestly, with the learning and observing, and then the revolution, I think just keeping your distance and watching from afar will really, you know, help you. I think you're doing pretty much everything correctly, Pile 2. I feel like you're, you know, you're just keeping your head down, keeping your head forward, 
doing what you got to do, letting it play out. You know, you're kind of in the background, you know, just watch out, of, watch out for the rat, you know, watch out for the rat, but someone is going to come along with good advice. And I feel like that's, you know, of course, besides myself, <laughs> um, you know, I feel like someone, someone may approach you that's a part of this conundrum that's going on be like hey you know what are your thoughts someone there's a, there's there's a rat but then there's also like a good noodle in there someone who's smart you know someone who didn't avoid the confrontation or being a part of it but someone who's still a good person and they might ask you how you're feeling, you know, noticing that you've been quiet and they might give you a little bit of advice and maybe an update on things and stuff like that. You know, you're not sure what to say because you don't have to say anything. Pile three, you're, you're, you're good. You are, you are in your own lane and you are not bothering anybody, you're good, you're set, but I'm gonna pull um, some animal spirit cards and see if we can get some more vibes, you know? Group three, general vibes, general advice. Oh, hello. The golden egg again. Wow, okay, um, this is the same card that Pile 2 got. Wow, I'll pull this one too. And the bl- Okay, okay, wow, 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 wow. So I already know about the black egg, or sorry, the golden egg, but the black egg, I do not know about yet. Mm, okay, I have the book here. Speaking from an authentic voice, the truth. The black egg contains one of life's essential treasures, the truth. Inside of it resides no confusion, excuses, small talk, noise, or lies, not even white ones. This living and breathing vessel harbors only that which rings true. When this essence is in balance, we speak slowly and clearly. We are drawn to activities like writing, reading, teaching, singing, or perhaps public speaking. Sounds draw us in. Books draw us in. The concept of truth itself draws us in. We start asking questions like, what do I know to be true about myself? And what is true about the world? When the energy of the black egg is not yet accessed, we speak from an unsure place. We say things others want to hear, gossip or repeat stories to justify our subpar behavior. Aha! We might even try to convince ourselves that we have no inner truth at all. The energy of the black egg hovers and waits for us to reconnect. Mm, okay, okay. There's a little more. It is available at every moment in every situation. It's the epicenter of truth, the birthplace of our voice. All right. So, and then the golden egg. I guess I can read the golden egg as well for you too. So here's the golden egg. Let me get that set up for you guys. Within the golden egg lives a precious sound. Deep within that sound resides a message. The sound cannot be heard, nor the message discerned until we retreat from the noise of modern day life. The magical essence of the golden egg needs warmth, quiet, and time to unfold. No rushing, pushing, or grasping. Find a place of deep and restful ease, perhaps through yoga nidra or meditation. If you do not yet have a meditation practice, take some time for introspection or contemplation. When the mind begins to settle and the breath is calm, ask the question that weighs heaviest on your heart staying open to any response you hear. Engaging with the energy of the golden egg is an advanced practice. It requires becoming intimate with our very essence and comfortable with vulnerability. 
When a feeling of tenderness or gratitude arises from deep within you, know that you are well on your way. Your chest may swell like you are seeing an old friend that's been away for a long, long time. Listen to the message they've been waiting to tell you. Wow, okay. So the fact that you got both the golden and the black egg. These are rare cards in this deck. I need you to understand that. And uh, pile three, you have something special inside of you, I feel. Very, very special to have both of these. I think that, you know, you you have this situation under control, um, you know, when it comes to how to handle it. You On the surface, you know, like the text for the black egg said, when this isn't fully accessed, this energy, you may speak with a very, you know, uncertain voice, a very uncertain place. You know, you're confused and you don't know what to do. Um, but I feel like, you know, a bit of introspection might help you, Pile 3. Um, you know, a little bit of incubation time. I feel like, yeah, like learning, observing, some quiet. You know, a quiet place where you can just think on it. You know, in the end, whatever happens from this conflict that's happening in your life, you know, you still have your choices to make. It's your choice who to stay with, who to leave behind, where to go. And right now, you may not be sure, but I feel like with a friend's guidance, with a friend's guidance, you might, uh, you might be able to, you know, hone in a little bit more on what this is trying to tell you, what your inner voice is trying to tell you, you know, you're already doing such a good job, pile three, of staying in your lane, keeping your head down. Even though you're confused, it's not going to be like that for long. Absolutely not. You know? Yeah, this conflict will be settled soon. You know, this this is not forever. This too shall pass, pile, pile three. This too shall pass, and, you know, everything's going to be okay. I feel like you have the strength and the fortitude in order to, you know, keep a level head while things might be a little chaotic around you right now. Um, you definitely have a connection with yourself that you are not aware of. And that's what differs from Pile 2, because Pile 2 got the golden egg, and they have a very, very deep connection already with themselves. But with the black egg, and with the Page of Swords here, and the Five of Pentacles as well, I definitely get that vibe that you haven't quite reached it yet, but it's there, Pile 3 some self-confidence, you know what I'm saying? I feel like this will give you a lesson in self-confidence. And also, you know, a little bit of pride in yourself for handling it so well. I already feel it, Pile 3, and uh, I wish you the best of luck with this. I hope that everything turns out all right, and uh, Pile 3, I really hope you liked this reading. I am very interested to hear how you thought of it in the comments. Um, leave a like, subscribe if you want more. I'm going to try and put up more of these videos, um, you know, as I go along. And uh, I hope you liked this quieter style of video. Um, and I hope you liked, uh, you know, the backdrop <laughs> a little bit. 
I hope that uh, this was calming and soothing for you. And uh, yeah, best of luck, Pile 3. Please have a good one, and I will see you in the next one. Bye!